Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and hello to everybody that's new here on my channel. Hello and welcome and thank you so much for subscribing and yeah, let's get into the video. So today I've got a new client that's come in, her name's Millie, she's come in for a brand new full set, um, it's the first time that I've had with her. So we've done all the usual prep, we've come in and applied my light pink butterfly forms and I've sculpted out a clear base. I'll give them a little file after I've removed the forms and now we're going to go in with some design. So I've gone in with bubblegum at the cuticle and I'm just coming in at the free edge with a silver hollow and obviously everything I use is from CJP. Um, I don't get sponsored or paid, I'm not an ambassador, it's just the brand that I choose and love and have done for the last two years now. So this is a bubblegum again, we're going to do a full nail of this because I'm going to be adding some 3D on here but I have a bit of a confession. Oh, you'll see towards the end of the video, stupid me, we've gone out for, I've gone to make my client a coffee, she's gone for a cigarette and I ended up pressing pause on the recording and I forgot to unpause it to carry on recording at the very end when I did the 3D and the crystal placement and the bits and bobs after I filed. So I'm very sorry that's not in this video but if you go back on my last few videos I've got 3D nail art on there and crystal placement. I've got loads of videos on that if you want to go back and have a look at how I do it. So we're coming in with bubblegum again. We're doing two full nails of bubblegum in the middle because a lot of design is going on in here. So one will have a crystal trail and the other one will have 3D flowers and crystals as well. On the next nail, we're gonna do some color blocking. So I use Silver Hollow, which is a pre-mixed glitter um, mix with acrylic. Sorry, I was going out of shot a little bit on this one. I don't know what was happening on this, um, this recording today. So a little bit of colour blocking with Silver Hollow. I don't know, I got the flakes out. I have like little mirror shards there. I didn't end up using them um, because we just absolutely loved Silver Hollow on its own. It didn't need anything else. It was super sparkly and it did the job just fine. So I'll get rid of that soon. Just if you're wondering what that is in the pot underneath, that's not the Silver Hollow, that is mirror shards. Um, it's called Mirror Ball from Smiley's Glitter Store, but I didn't end up using it. Um, so yeah, after I've sort of used my brush to create a very sort of triangular chevron uh, ready for the colour block, we're going to go in sort of like chevron shapes, triangles, whatever you want to call them. So I'm starting off with a smaller one with the silver hollow at the cuticle. And I'm just tickling all that round and making sure it's nice and neat because with Silver Hollow it's um, like a multi-mix holographic glitter so you've got the fine and you've got the little bits of uh, medium chunky bits as well. So just nudging that round making sure I've got full coverage and it's all in place and neat where I want it. And then I'm going to cap this just so I'm building a little bit of a wall in case I felt like I wanted to file the, the edges just to make that nice and crisp ready for the next colour to go up against. I was quite happy with the way that I've done it with the brush so I'll leave that to dry. And I'm coming in with a glitter fade on the thumb with bubblegum and silver hollow. So with a glitter fade like this I always start with the cuticle. Get that all nice and neat and then pull the product down with the tip of the brush. Just using gentle strokes as well, don't be pushing in or digging in anywhere. And then I come in at the free edge with the silver hollow. I flip my brush round and just use the very tip of the brush at the back of the bead 
so not from the free edge i'm not pulling the whole product from the free edge up the nail i'm just tickling where it sort of meets the bubble gum and just tickling it with the tip of the brush up towards the cuticle just to get that nice sort of fade so once i'm happy with that i'm going to go back to the color block nail so i don't know how i ended up missing this out either but i've applied snow white <laughs> Or was it coconut milk? No, Snow White. Um, up against the silver hollow for the next chevron. You do see me do it on the other hand better. I don't know whether I was out. I must have been out of shot when I've edited this video. So I didn't leave that bit in. Um, but you will see it. How I do the full nail on the other hand. In a minute. So up to that Snow White. I'm coming in with bubble gum. So Millie had seen a, a similar design on my page with the chevrons and the colours. So we sort of had inspiration from a set that I'd done previously on another client. And she wanted these colours and this design. So this is what we went with. So using the very tip of the brush and bubblegum is really pigmented as all the colours from CJP are. So you only need the tiniest dot on your brush to get right up in them wings. And I basically use it like paint, so quite wet, and using the very tip of the brush just to tickle it right up to where I want it. So I go and cap all of the nails once they've dried. And we're going to come over to the other hand now and do exactly the same design. So I'm going to just gonna let you watch, and um, yeah, I'll be back soon.
Okay, so once I'm happy with all of the design, I go in and I cap all of the nails in crystal glass clear acrylic, and then I'll file, shape, buff, and all that good stuff, and then I go in with some crystals and 3D. But like a numb nuts, like I explained before, <laughs> Um, I forgot to press record, so I'm very sorry it's not in this video, but like I said before, I do have videos on 3D and crystal placement and things like that if you want to go back and watch those. So the next little clip is me just applying some top coat. So my favourite top coat as always is the CJP Tap Free Top Gloss, and I just apply a nice layer to this, um, to all the nails, and then I cure in my LED light for 60 seconds. Let them cool down and then I'll apply some cuticle oil. So there's the 3D flowers and the little crystals. And obviously I've left the um, full design at the end. I've left pictures so you can see everything together properly. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much again for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry little bits were cut out or not in frame on this video. Um, but I did want to get it uploaded because I know a lot of people like this set. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all in my next one guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye